I started off being a guitar player and I wanted to be, uh, you know, the quiet one at the back sort of thing. And I just wasn't really good enough to be the quiet one at the back. But the only other option left to me was um, to be the singer. Influenced by the Smiths and compared to Bowie, who was a fan of Suede, the band became more experimental than their Britpop pack. And 25 years on from their debut, are about to release a new record. It was time for a bit of reflection. I just fancied writing something. It was just one of those one of those things. I didn't have a deal or anything. I wrote it for my son, and that's kind of where the genesis of the book comes from. You deliberately said that you didn't want to do a Coke and Gold Discs memoir. Mm. You wanted to do a memoir of, you call it failure. Why do you call it failure? Um, well, that was the tone that I thought, uh, that was the sort of word that, that I thought kind of summed up a lot of my upbringing and you know my parents situation in the world and also a lot of the experience of being in Suede in the early days was kind of like a failure after failure struggle after struggle I get the sense you really like the association with Britpop now. I didn't like what it became mm -hmm. I was writing I was documenting Britishness Englishness whatever you want to call it and I think those other bands that came later were celebrating it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the difference. I, I documented it because it was part of the world I saw around me and I wanted to document real life. It was almost like a, a slightly scruffy Mike Lee kind of vision of the world uh, that I saw around me. And I think it kind of became a, mutated from, a Mike, from a, like a Mike Lee film into a Carry On film. I think it was the last big movement in alternative music. Um, and it had, a, it had value in that sense. I think it, its rejection of American cultural imperialism was a, was a really powerful statement um, and possibly the best thing about it. And the fact that it moved uh, alternative music into the mainstream, I think that was fantastic.